Aze tuto uli kwa pani nani Na tuwabeshe babo kamati nani Success, knowledge, tie pani Bela kube, uwa wako ni sensor Eh tuta wabantu, eh tuta wabantu Uwa wako ni sensor Eh usa kama nabantu, eh usa kama nabantu the following video is a quick preparation in biology paper 2, considering section A as our main focus for today. So, we're going to talk about biology in preparation with the final exam, but our concept is under enzyme catalyzed reaction. Before we begin anything, it would be so relevant in order to understand what an enzyme is. An enzyme in nature is said to be a biological catalyst. And when we are talking about an enzyme, the more important nutrients that can result to formation of enzymes are proteins. So we always say enzymes are biological catalysts, which are protein in nature. Very, very important and quickly to consider that would be relevant would be the definition for a catalyst. A catalyst is a chemical substance which can be able to speed up the rate of the chemical reaction without itself being permanently changed. Let's tend to look at the question. The diagram below shows a graph of an enzyme catalyzed reaction. On the y-axis, you have the rate of reaction. On the x-axis, you have the temperature given in degrees Celsius. One thing to consider and take note of is that the normal body temperature of a human being ranges from 35 degrees Celsius to about 39.9 degrees Celsius. So when you have the 5 degrees Celsius to about 39.9 degrees Celsius, it is within that range that enzymes can be able to work properly and under being able to be active. But if the temperature gets less than 35, enzymes become inactive. If the temperature exceeds 39, starting from 40, enzymes get denatured. When we say denatured, this is a biological term used to refer to a condition when enzymes start to getting exposed to a higher temperature, making them to be killed one by one. Here are some questions. A. Define the term an enzyme. An enzyme is a biological catalyst which is protein in nature. So here are going to say an enzyme is a biological catalyst which is protein in nature. An enzyme is a biological catalyst which is protein in nature. Then on B, set the optimum temperature of an enzyme that is from the graph. So we're talking about from the graph. So optimum temperature is the exact temperature under which an enzyme can favorably work according to the expectations. So if we can observe from the graph, it started from zero, kept on increasing, 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 until when the temperature was detected somewhere here, it started dropping down to imply there was an increase in the rate of the temperature or heat. And as a result, this was about maybe 38 or 39. So I'm going to say 38 degrees Celsius. You can pick anybody between 35 and 40 or anybody closer to 40. That would be approximately the normal body temperature under which and this enzyme would be able to catalyze reactions. So we can say 38 degrees Celsius. C. Set two characteristics of enzymes. One thing we need to know is that enzymes are protein in nature. Enzymes catalyze both backward and forward reactions. Enzymes are affected by temperature. This is evident from the graph because if we have to look properly and carefully, we are going to find that after 40 degrees, the graph has completely slowed down, meaning an increase in the temperature denatures enzymes. So enzymes are affected by temperature. They are also affected by pH. Considering our question, steps two characteristics of enzymes. We are going to say enzymes are protein in nature. Enzymes are protein in nature. What we mean by that is the 
most important nutrient from which they are manufactured from are uh, proteins. Then we're going to say enzymes are affected by temperature. We can say by an increase in temperature. So this is what we simply should know. As we are being drawn closer to the exam, much more anticipation to be understood and realized is that you are the only person that knows yourself better than anyone does. The least you could do possibly is to consider as in on possible possibilities, possible positivities, and some of the things you can use to your advantage. Make sure you invest your time in self-reliance, proper practice in order to create self-dependence. For now, till next time, it's a good bye. As a tuto uli kwa pani nani Sensa Na tuwabe shiba waka mwati nani Sensa Success Knowledge Tia pani Bela kuwe babo Uwa wako ni sensa Hey tuta wabantu Hey tuta wabantu Uwa wako ni sensa